C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 15 visualizing solid shapes page 285 exercise 15.2 1 Use isometric dot paper and make an isometric sketch for each one of the given shapes. We have four shapes given here. 2. The dimensions of a cuboid are 5 cm, 3 cm and 2 cm. Draw three different isometric sketches of this cuboid. 3. Three cubes each with 2 cm edge are placed side by side to form a cuboid. Sketch an oblique or isometric sketch of this cuboid. 4. Make an oblique sketch for each one of the given isometric shapes. Page 286 5. Give 1. An oblique sketch and 2. An isometric sketch for each of the following. A. A cuboid of dimensions 5 cm, 3 cm and 2 cm. Is your sketch unique? B. A cube with an edge 4 cm long. An isometric sheet is attached at the end of the book. You could try to make on it some cubes or cuboids of dimensions specified by your friend. 15.4.3 Visualizing Solid Objects do this. Sometimes when you look at combined shapes, some of them may be hidden from your view. Here are some activities you could try in your free time to help you visualize some solid objects and how they look. Take some cubes and arrange them as shown in figure 15.16. Now ask your friend to guess how many cubes there are when observed from the view shown by the arrow mark. Try these. Try to guess the number of cubes in the following arrangements. Figure 15.17 Page 287 Such visualization is very helpful. Suppose you form a cuboid by joining such cubes you will be able to guess what the length, breadth and height of the cuboid would be. Example 2. If two cubes of dimensions 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm are placed side by side, what would the dimensions of the resulting cuboid be? Solution. As you can see, figure 15.18. When kept side by side, the length is the only measurement which increases. It becomes 2 plus 2 equal to 4 cm. The breadth is equal to 2 cm and the height is equal to 2 cm. Try these. 1. Two dice are placed side by side as shown. Can you say what the total would be on the face opposite to A. 5 plus 6 B. 4 plus 3. Remember that in a die, sum of numbers on opposite faces is 7. 2. 3 cubes each with 2 cm edge are placed side by side to form a cuboid. Try to make an oblique sketch and say what could be its length, breadth and height. 15.5. Viewing different sections of a solid. Now let us see how an object which is in 3D can be viewed in different ways. 15.5.1 One way to view an object is by cutting or slicing. Slicing game. Here is a loaf of bread. Figure 15.20 It is like a cuboid with a square face. You slice it with a knife. When you give a Vertical cut, you get several pieces, as shown in the figure 15.20. Each face of the piece is a square. We call this face a cross-section of the whole bread. 
the cross section is nearly a square in this case. Beware, if your cut is not vertical, you may get a different cross section. Think about it. The boundary of the cross section you obtain is a plain curve. Do you notice it? A kitchen play. Have you noticed cross sections of some vegetables when they are cut for the purposes of cooking in the kitchen? Observe the various slices and get aware of the shapes that result as cross sections. Page 288 Play this. Make clay or plastic models of the following solids and make vertical or horizontal cuts. Draw rough sketches of the cross sections you obtain. Name them wherever you can. Figure 15.21 shows the different solids. Exercise 15.3 1. What cross sections do you get when you give a 1. Vertical cut 2. Horizontal cut to the following solids A. A brick B. A round apple C. A die D. A circular pipe E. An ice cream cone 15.5.2 Another way is by shadow play. A shadow play. Shadows are a good way to illustrate how three-dimensional objects can be viewed in two dimensions. Have you seen a shadow play? It is a form of entertainment using solid articulated figures in front of an illuminated backdrop to create the illusion of moving images. It makes some indirect use of ideas in mathematics. You will need a source of light and a few solid shapes for this activity. If you have an overhead projector, place the solid under the lamp and do these investigations. Keep a torchlight right in front of a cone. What type of shadow does it cast on the screen? Figure 15.23 the solid is three-dimensional. What is the dimension of the shadow? If, instead of a cone, you place a cube in the above game, what type of shadow will you get? Experiment with different positions of the source of light and with different positions of the solid object. Study their effects on the shapes and sizes of the shadows you get. Here is another funny experiment that you might have tried already. Place a circular plate in the open when the sun at the noontime is just right above it, as shown in figure 15.241. What is the shadow that you obtain? Page 289 Will it be same during A. Forenoons B. Evenings Study the shadows in relation to the position of the sun and the time of observation. Exercise 15.4 1. A bulb is kept burning just right above the following solids. Name the shape of the shadows obtained in each case. Attempt to give a rough sketch of the shadow. You may try to experiment first and then answer these questions. The shapes are 1. A ball 2. A cylindrical pipe 3. A book 2. Here are the shadows of some 3D objects when seen under the lamp of an overhead projector. Identify the solids that match each shadow. There may be multiple answers for these. A circle A square a triangle, a rectangle. Page 290 3. Examine if the following are true statements. 1. The cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a rectangle. 2. The cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a hexagon. 
15.5.3. A third way is by looking at it from certain angles to get different views. One can look at an object standing in front of it, or by the side of it, or from above. Each time one will get a different view. Figure 15.25. We have the front view, side view, top view. Here is an example of how one gets different views of a given building. Figure 15.26. Building, front view, side view, top view. You could do this for figures made by joining cubes. Try putting cubes together and then making such sketches from different sides. Page 291 Try these. 1. For each solid, the three views 1, 2, 3 are given. Identify for each solid the corresponding top, front and side views. Solid, its views. 2. Draw a view of each solid as seen from the direction indicated by the arrow. Page 292. What have we discussed? 1. The circle, the square, the rectangle, the quadrilateral and the triangle are examples of plane figures. The cube, the cuboid, the sphere, the cylinder, the cone and the pyramid are examples of solid shapes. 2. Plane figures are of two dimensions, 2D, and the solid shapes are of three dimensions, 3D. 3. The corners of a solid shape are called its vertices. The line segments of its skeleton are its edges and its flat surfaces are its faces. 4. A net is a skeleton outline of a solid that can be folded to make it. The same solid can have several types of nets. 5. Solid shapes can be drawn on a flat surface, like paper, realistically. We call this 2D representation of a 3D solid. 6. Two types of sketches of a solid are possible. A. An oblique sketch does not have proportional lengths. Still, it conveys all important aspects of the appearance of the solid. B. An isometric sketch is drawn on an isometric dot paper, a sample of which is given at the end of this book. In an isometric sketch of the solid, the measurements are kept proportional. 7. Visualizing solid shapes is a very useful skill. You should be able to see hidden parts of the solid shape. 8. Different sections of a solid can be viewed in many ways. A. One way is to view by cutting or slicing the shape which would result in the cross-section of the solid. B. Another way is by observing a 2D shadow of a 3D shape. C. A third way is to look at the shape from different angles. The front view, the side view and the top view can provide a lot of information about the shape observed. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.